What's up guys, Captain Creatine here with a video to save you a lot of money on spending it on stupid shit like this. Alright guys, see how it says non-steroidal right there? That means it's not a steroid, so don't accuse me of being on steroids because of this video. Alright, so if you haven't guessed it already today, we're going over natural test boosters. These are both considered natural androgens, which I didn't know back then, but that's actually impossible. Now the thing about natural test boosters is that it raises your testosterone levels by such a minimal amount that doesn't even tap into any anabolic effects. So if you take these, you're basically not going to build any additional muscle. It's really just a waste of money. They're very expensive. These two are, I think I got these for $60 for all three of these. That's not that much money, but it's still money you could be spending on other supplements that actually make a difference. So the question is, should I take an after test booster? And the answer is no. The reason being is it has minimal to no effects on your testosterone levels, especially if you're under the age of 30. So spend your money where it's most useful. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Captain Creatine out. Peace.